Hello, Willow Davis, how's it going? W what's up with you today? I, I didn't feel like taking the green screen down again, so I'm in this birch forest. Is that cool? Anyway, today I wanted to check out some videos uh, from someone who I've, I've I've taken a look at before here on the channel. Uh, it's Airsoft Fatty. He's do he has a bunch of cooking videos which I I knew but I forgot about. Uh, uh, people have been been reminding me that I should check it out again. You know, going along with our our, our cooking theme here lately. So anyway, I've pulled up a few of them. Uh, there's a chance maybe I've like checked out one or two of these before, but I don't I don't remember it. So it's it's all good either way. Before we get started here, uh, I want to know: Do you have any YouTube like uh, like a guilty pleasure watch or that you're subscribed to? Is it whether it's just some interesting character that has a YouTube channel? Or, I don't know, do you watch people like pop some pimples or something? You watch people like a professional rug cleaning service or something like that? You just, for some reason, you can't get enough of those videos? Yeah, the channel's called Willow Davis. <laughs> well, anyway, let me know down in the comments. Here we have 250 sub special. Cooking with Fatty Cheese Ramen Part One. I feel like I kind of, I, I might kind of, uh, I, I remember reading this title. It was 250 subs. Got a lot more than 250 now. How interesting is that? <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's see how it goes here. What is up? It is your boy Airsoft Fatty here, bringing you a 250 subscriber special for one, for one. That's nice to celebrate. I should, I should do more milestone celebrations. Sorry. One thing I want to say, thank you all for the 250 subscribers. I can't wait to see how much further we can so get. So it's cheese, cheesy ramen. This YouTube world. Never heard of and it. I can't wait to, uh, <laughs> well, have more conversations with Usually you. Usually there's not cheese in ramen, right? Hey guys. Very daintily so, cutting today, up some cheese I'm there. Reading, I actually haven't read the uh, title, a cooking video. But all you'll need is a microwave, some ramen. Oh, not the fly going around his food. You see that? Flavor packets. Oh, no. Piece oh. Of chicken. Oh, it's thinking about going in. Could be anything. Could be a chicken from a restaurant or chicken from... It doesn't matter. Cheese. I'm going to finish chopping that is the cheese. Quite a block I of cheese use, there. I use a lot of cheese in my ramen when I make it. Weird, but that's okay. Okay, okay. I'm going to chop them to about that. So oh, the fly! The fly definitely went in. I definitely saw something a happen bit there. Kind of. When you melt the cheese in it, now you'll want to have the noodles pre-boiled uh, or microwaved, whatever you're gonna do. Okay. And did, did the seasoning packet go in already, or do we toss that? I guess we'll find Can out. Can do this while cooking stovetop. Okay. Oh, there's a cat in the background. Okay. okay. Very one. cool. The cat is meowing, wanting some ramen or cheese. There she was. I, appre I appreciate the fit of those sweatpants. He's smoking. Looks very comfortable. Here. I can dig it. Don't tell mom. Oh. You small oh. Piece of okay. Me alone for the video. So this is all you'll need. <laughs> okay. Cheese and meat. Cheese and chicken and ramen. You can choose ramen. any meat you want for this, but Could I just I? chose chicken because that's what's readily available to you me. You think it would be okay if I use some tofu or something there, soft Maybe. fatty? So first things first. Take oh, there's the, the packet. There's the seasoning. Very and nice. In. Isn't, it's going to be concentrated, isn't it? Noodles. Is it not? In it? <laughs> a, little, a little shaky shake, okay. Get it all at the bottom, I understand. That way when you rip it, it doesn't all just come pouring out. It was chicken flavor ramen, in case anyone was uh, keeping track at home. I see it on the label there. And of course you're wondering how you're going to melt the cheese and the meat, you know, because you're already heated up. You're going to melt the, well, the meat? Well, I stir, I'll explain everything. So, the way I make my noodles, I don't get an even amount of flavor packeting with this. What does that mean? What do you mean you don't get an even I use amount? very little water. I like my noodles to be a little dry. Oh, you're a drag oral. So once you've okay. stirred it to your likingness, first put in a couple pieces of cheese. Okay, I would assume, yeah. Put the knife and stir it. Oh, the oh, whoa, whoa, easy stir. there. Whoa, we got a badass right over here. Some more cheese. Put stir it in. With the knife. Oh, whoa, stir. whoa, whoa. <laughs> the aggressive. And you want to do it exactly like this because you get a nice even spread of the cheese. Exactly like uh, that. Okay. 
last handful. Could you, you think you could do shredded cheese, or is that a no now? It's got to be blocked. You should have at least three handfuls of cheese. If you're doing it like I do, and you like yours nice and cheesy, and you can taste the cheese, about three handfuls should do it. Okay. If you're using shredded cheese. Is this like blazing hot right now, or? Maybe half a cup will do. Half a cup if you're doing shredded? Wait, how, three handfuls of a block of cheese or half a cup of shredded doesn't feel like the same amount to me. With this. <laughs> But okay. Now that it's all stirred in and it looks nice and even. Okay. You just dump in the chicken. And you stir with the chicken. I don't like the, 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 the stabby way he's holding the knife there. Now this is really nice for people in college or in school that just don't have time. True. To get a lunch and they just gotta use this full microwave. True. Uh, so true. This is an excellent I feel way. like you'd probably get a look. <clears throat> um... <laughs> You know, but kind it's all of, good. Uh, pony up. So in the end, it should look something like this. Yeah, cheese is going to stick to the bowl and stuff. But now we're going to throw it in the microwave for about, I want to say two, three minutes. You want to do it until the cheese is nice and melted and it's in the noodle. True. So I'll be right back after microwaving this. We'll show it off. We'll do a taste test. It's going to be hot. And everything. This is my first time. I wonder if he lets it cool. I'm putting chicken in it. Oh. I put cheese in This it. is an experimental version. Okay. Many times in my ramen, but I've never done it like exactly like this. So we're going to see how this works. Wow. Out. All right. The suspense. So the suspense, the though. So actually, I wanted to come back for a second after a minute of thinking. Oh. Oh, it's still in there. And, uh, oh. just, uh, just a little aside from the cooking video. Is that what's going it's on? Popsicle. Is it a popsicle? Popsicle appetizer. Very nice. I'm talking to you guys. Uh, what's happening with the channel? Okay, you know I do kind of remember this a little bit. I must have I must have briefly watched this in another video I did watch or stuff. That I figured I'd take these next minute or so to kind of talk about it. And where the channel's going? Where is it? It it, it went places. It's no, I don't know it, I don't know where it is now, but uh, it, it definitely went off the cat table. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, cat gets on the table. Um. Okay. And oh, oh, the. If you happen to live in Battle Creek, you can catch me at my aunt's house, possibly my aunt's house or at my house. Lightsaber dueling with my new lightsaber, which I need to do a review on soon. That's that's the classic. No. That's the classic airsoft fatty. The uh, the lightsaber duels. No. Oh the, oh, I'm sorry. The video ended. I didn't even realize. Oh yeah. So so no no big reveal on how the uh, ramen came out there or what? You know I'm not satisfied if I don't get a taste test. I'm I'm massively disappointed in this. Ugh. All right. Well, hopefully hopefully we get more of an idea in some of the other ones. Next we have cooking with fatty nachos. Let's. I'm sure it's also going to be very interesting. Hey, what is up, finished boy? The way this is made. Let's so see. Fatty here, bringing you another cooking with airsoft fatty episode. This is gonna be nachos. Oh, that thing's so, about to. That thing's about to fall off the uh, stove there. Bring your meat up like Careful this. with that. You know. Oh, that looks like it. It's sticking. Make sure it's cooked. No. Oh. Now you want to take. Whoa. Oh, Jackson, the sink. This. Oh. Let's take a plate. Drain or whatever you got. I mean, I don't, you don't, you don't got any bleach or. Oh, I'm gonna protect your hand. True. Oh, that's this... an interesting way of, uh. I mean, that slimy gunk out of there. That's an interesting way of draining the grease out. Oh, careful, it's slipping. That's. Okay. Now I see what happened to the sink there. Aren't you, aren't you not supposed to put that down the sink? I don't know. What do I know? Oh, I don't God. need it. <laughs> now. What's that? Well, are we looking at this for a reason? You know, what is that? Take your cheese. What? <laughs> oh. Yes, you know. Oh, some some cheese, cheese dip, dip some queso, some. And pour a little bit in to start. Is that in the thing with the ground this beef? Point, turn it down to a low heat. Cheesy ground beef. Showing a little blob skin. That stuff sizzling. And. Is there a TV on the background? What are those little blue things in the jar there? Walkie slush. Of course. <laughs> Should come out. We'll pause this for a sec. Should come out looking like oh this nice. Oh my gosh. Almost school lunch looking kind of school? hamburger. Uh, not ketchup, but hamburger and cheese mix. That's, that you, that you get that at school? Now you come to your fridge. Okay. And you get some leftover chili. Oh. This is literally called surprise. Oh, 
Oh, you gotta keep it in the in the in the, in the empty blue bonnet container with no lid in the fridge. Okay, hey, some leftover chili. So, how do you make the leftover take chili? The leftover chili. The blue bonnet container. And of course, ketchup. With the nachos. Okay. Okay. Now, I'll, I'll, I'm open to anything. I guess here. And put a little leftover chili in. Okay. Blurry camera. Just two or three spoonfuls should do it. You don't want it overpowering. This is gonna be bussin'. Nacho cheese. This is gonna be bussin'. Then, AF. Of course. Stir again. You hear that? Walky slush. Then, if you like to add ketchup, which I like to do sometimes, but you know, why? You can do that. You take the what ketchup, is the reason? Squirt in about as much as you put on a half ha half size hamburger. That's how <laughs> so much you put on a half size hamburger. What is a half size hamburger? Like half a hamburger? I'm gonna show you. That's ketchupy. About that much. Then you just want to take. Okay, I'm not. I'm not horrified. Let's start. I wouldn't have thought of it personally, but you know. The scraping of the metal, a little too much, a little too much for me. I could do without that. And in the end, you have delicious looking... Bussin'. Homemade nachos. Now what we need to do is go get our chips, set up our meal, and of course do the taste portion see, of this... See, if I were you, chili cheese dip. You don't need to, there's no, no pouring needs to happen here. That's, that's gonna complicate things. Just, you take, take a chip, scoop. Easy, you know, you can choose how much you want on every chip. That's, that, that's, for me, that's what works for me and my family. Video series. How, how is that, how is that the video? Where's the chips? Bruh. Ugh. I can't, I, I can't keep doing this if he's not going to show the results here. No lid on the chili in a butter box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. to that drain pipe pouring oil down. Okay, yeah, so you, you're not supposed to do that. You need to cover the chili when you put it in the fridge. Okay, th I'm not looking forward to this next one. Uh, cooking with fatty meat salad. Real video this time? I'm not sure what what that's referring to, but uh, I'm glad it's not a fake video this time, I guess. I, I wonder if this is going to be kind of like the, the meat salad that uh, I've seen before. I think, it, didn't I react to a, a, a meat salad video that was actually like an actual thing with like bologna or whatever? Anyway... Uh, judging by the thumbnail here, I'm wondering if this is going to be the finished product. Uh, hopefully not, but let's see. Cooking with fatty meat salad. What you'll need is some turkey or sandwich meat. Okay, so far different from the from the meat salad that I've seen. And hot dogs. That's okay. Well, I take your first sandwich meat, shred it, and put it in a bowl. Take two or three hot dogs, and you chop them up. Oh my God! You say hey, he's got—he's good with these uh, these uh, filming cuts here. He's like, yeah, this one's straight to the point. You throw them in with the other meat, then you stir that shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know how much difference that's gonna make in the, in the, for the time being, but you shred up some cheese and put it in. I see. Are we working with a blue bonnet container again? I think we are. I think we're working with the <laughs> an empty uh, butter container. Throw that bitch. Is that well? Is that microwave? Safe, uh, the blue bonnet container. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Stop it when it's halfway done. Stop it when it's halfway done. Oh, yeah, it looks good. The cheese. Stir this shit. Yeah, see, I usually think a salad would be cold, airsoft fatty, but that's, that's blazing hot, melted. I wonder if he's got okay the the camera's fogging up or steaming up you know oh he's just yeah just just rub that off and it's done usually by now but if you make more than this you definitely want to put in for longer oh so the this stopping it halfway done was it being Boy, done airsoft fatty signing off i don't know how much of a salad that was that usually it's like a mix of like the cold stuff together some kind of salad like a actual salad or like a macaroni salad bust salad potato salad bean salad usually like a cold mix of things fart fuel okay I find it hilarious that you have books holding up your microwave. Hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? In the microwave? Why are there books holding up the microwave? What is the purpose? What's the point of that? Why do you need your microwave elevated? Okay. 
Stop it when it's halfway up. Did the feet fall off of it or something? I don't know. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I can, I get one more in here. This one's a long one, so hopefully I can skip through. But grilled cheese and tomato soup. Now, normally I would have been like, oh, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be grilled cheese and tomato soup. That's not could be interesting, but the thumbnail here, it's a lot going on. I'm kind of, kind of interested to see what he does. What is up guys, it is your boy Airsoft Fetty here, and as the intro would suggest, today we are doing a cricket with Fetty, kind of like the title would suggest as well. I like that shirt. Where do I get that? Oh, I tried to click a link to, the, to, to a merch and it didn't work. Oh, only available month of October. Come on. Come on. Oh well. Well. And if you can't read, well, we're doing a bit of a classic. We're gonna do a special kind of grilled cheese with some tomato soup. It's real basic, real easy to make. Okay, and so he's honestly, in a. This is like a later 2020 at some point. Look at this. Look at this clean, bright kitchen here. Very different. I think he has my different vibe. So, without further ado, we're gonna hop into this. So, we're just gonna go over quick. Camera appears to be about the same. The ingredients list, and then we're gonna hop into cooking this. To start with, your cheeses, which is gonna be the most important part of any grilled cheese, right? I choose to use very high energy on this one. Colby Jack. Colby Jack. And white cheddar. White cheddar. This is going to be a two type of cheese, grilled cheese. You are going to get, preferably some meats, though some people prefer vegetables. Um, meats and vegetables for what? Turkey. If that's going on the sandwich, is that really a grilled cheese anymore at that point? And then, of course, ham. I asked for honey roasted of that, but I guess my ship shopper got me ham and cheese. That's like basically every ship order I've ever had. We but Wait, does this say ham and cheese? Oven roasted cheese. Hold on. I'm sorry, I'm skipping around. Ham? Ham and cheese. There's cheese in that? What? Putting cheese in the ham? What's going on with that? There's dirty cheese in it? Explain that to me, huh? What's going on there? Explain that, Omnis. <laughs> I asked for honey roasted with that, but I guess my ship shopper. Right. Just some tomato soup. Not both cans, oh. but picked them up because, hey, visually it looks good. You know, hey, Macarena. You know, so there's that. Okay. Of course, you're going to need yourself some butter or margarine. Uh, I'm using blue bonnet today. I would have preferred. Uh, I can't believe it's not butter light, but blue bonnet, the classic blue bonnet in all these videos. <laughs> and then, of course, finally, the piece of resistance, the bread. I am going to be using the country's buttermilk bread. Um, there are people out there who enjoy other breads. Um, really? Some some prefer other breads. I know Italian can go good with this kind of uh, Italian. recipe of a grilled cheese where it's like, it's nice. Interesting, so, interesting. Ahead, I wouldn't have thought of that for a grilled one, cheese. And step one, you got to open up your bread. Okay? Right. Cheese once we finish. Two slices of bread. So now what you're going to want to do, is you're going to pop open your butter. Do you have to include opening the different containers as part of the instructions? Oh. Oh, almost lost your butter there. Almost lost it. Oh my gosh. What a fail. Oh man. This guy's having the worst luck. Oh jeez. Looks kind of like a butthole with a little poop coming out. Bro, what? And that is how Why? your ingredients should look. The ham's ticking me off. Let's looking ready. like that. Let's get cooking. What's up with that? So, step one should be really simple for you guys. You want to take your bread, one slice at a time. Now, popular to unpopular opinion here, I actually enjoy the end piece. Oh, I don't mind I find it. it's definitely something joy if you do it right. However, I always butter my bottoms first. Always I butter your bottoms first. I do like to keep my bottoms with this. Yes, I am picky. Oh. Turn to me if you want. I don't know what that means. So, we're going to... Take the butter. We're just gonna. What is this? This top down view. Get a bit on. And then. Oh, yeah, that oh you lost it. Oh. I mean, you gotta change your strategy up when something like this happens. But yeah, switch up the strategy on that inside, buttering. Inside, you know, give her a nice coating. And then give her do, a nice coating. Flop her on the stove top. And then what I'll do is I'll come over. Oh, and is, I'll he, say, hmm. is he grilling that up first? This piece of ham's gonna go first. Okay. Hey, oh, you it's stacking it on there. That 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 makes it easier, I guess. Then what we're gonna do is grab Colby, put it on top. Okay. And I also like to be. I'm, I'm a little OCD when it comes to making grilled cheese. I like to cook with everything, sort of in a way, so everything gets a coating of everything. All right. Okay. So there is no wasted potential or bites. Waste. You want to, yeah, you want everything in each bite, turkey. right? Okay. This is the best part. Ready? All these squares, make a circle. This is this really a grilled cheese if you have these lunch meats on? I feel like it's like a like a 
turkey and ham and cheese panini or something at this point. I am just knocking every right? reference out of the park today now, aren't I, guys? Now you take your final pieces of that white cheddar. Hey, cheddar. What? Stop feeling a little better. Night tonight. Now I'm going to go ahead and butter up their blanket and their hop into the next part. Is, it, is, this, is it cooking right now? Is it on? I wonder. See, that's the problem about using the end piece for grilled cheese is... You know, it doesn't, doesn't fry up as nicely on that with side, because it's all and now that we're done with bumpy. This. Oh. Clearly kitchen safety. Whoa, oh, whoa, there. what are you, the slap chop guy? Just throwing things in the direction of the sink? So now what you want to do is you want to take your last piece of bread. You remember the slap chop guy? Cover them up. Right, well, we're giving it a flip. And I like to run this, so I got an electric stove, at around a six to seven... And this takes roughly eight-ish minutes to cook. This is nice. But now we're going to go prep the tomato, the tomato, almost said tomato juice. And really quick, for those of you who saw that my hands were a little shaky as I was filming the grilled cheese as we set it down. I hurt my hand the other day. Starting to heal up. Starting to get some movement in the thumb, but it does hurt to move. So forgive What the me hell happened? That shot was a little shaky. That what? being said, we're going to get our butter because we're done with that. This up. Uh, first off, you're going to need a frying pan and your shoe. Oh man, that pan <laughs> looking all scraped up. These kids can get this stupid thing open. Is that condensed <sighs> soup? Hey, working out's finally paying off. Now we just that, gotta. Is that condensed or just a tiny can? Hey, that must be getting stronger than I thought. Very impressive. And of course, we are gonna need this. And now, so what cool, you gotta do? bro. So cool. Do be th like that. Thick though. Now you need your milk. Milk. Fill your can. Really? Is that is that how you do that? I would have thought the acid and the tomatoes would have done something weird to the milk there. Is this is this how Top it's it done? In. Is that like a creamy tomato Top soup? Milk. Is this the vibe? And then you put that away and get stirring. Oh, well, Almost well, well, well. crazy here. Why are you splashing? What's the reason for that? You splash. And now you just gotta get a good oh. on the stove top out of seven heat, just like the bread. But uh, why'd you do that? Got some cleaning to do. Yeah. And now, oh. as you cook, you kind of just want to sing, you know. And you said, "Dear John, don't oh. take no." Sh okay, a little little cooking, singing, dinner and a show. Hey, sooner or later, I'm gonna cut you down. So okay. it's around this time. And again, sorry if I'm shaky, but uh, around this time, you're probably gonna want to flip it. Oh, oh, close enough, close enough. That's a good... Does everything bad have to happen on camera? That's a good crispiness right on there. Just like in school. GG. Why is that pan all beat up like you've been, like, hitting something with it? You see? Probably gonna want to flip it. Look at that. What have you been hitting the pan on? Uh-oh. <laughs> Why is everything bad to nail in a, a picture frame? Just like in school. <laughs> that... This very pale tomato soup, okay. Stirring tomato soup. Soup, 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 it's good. More, more songs, okay. You're ready soon, you're ready, baby. Look at that cheese you just put on a display for us. All right, all right, all right. Mrs. Cow did some- Don't, don't degrade the poor sandwich now. Oh, I think this is gonna oh, be a great grilled cheese. Uh, hopefully there's a taste test the end of it all. Thing? Oh, the the soup all over the counter. A very mess. It looks. Yeah, I I'm I'm surprised because it seemed like a pretty straightforward thing, but you you made quite a mess out of uh, heating up soup and making a grilled cheese. Like no. Oh! Except you probably won't have to retry a bunch of times. Retry a bunch of times. Yeah. Soup, don't we? What'd you do wrong? So what I like to do is sometimes I'll put in just a slice of cheese. What happened? To help thicken the soup. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do here. Thicken the soup with a with a couple of slices of cheese. Never would have thought. Uh, tear this up, that. toss it in, melt it in, and then this should be right about done. Then you just gotta let it cool off along with that, and you will have yourself an amazing grilled cheese dinner. Hmm. You know what? I'm feeling lazy. What, what was the other option? It's torn it up. up. It's in there. Now we just gotta let it melt. Finish cooking. It's not torn up. You didn't tear it up. All right. Time to serve the soup. Is that bowl clean? I feel like I saw Beautiful. some specks, but. And now to enjoy it in the same spot we just cooked. Oh, I love doing that. I love just standing in the kitchen and eating the food I just made. That looks one of my favorite things. It's beautiful. Let's get into eating and reviewing this bad boy. Hi. <laughs> Oh! Hi! You got me. Here we are. 
Mukbang. At the food section. I'm sitting on a little metal chair at the counter. About to eat this amazing food testing. This really quickly. This is what your. I can hardly like. see with the, the overexposure. The, uh, you saw the tomato soup. I'm not going to spill that on me. Right. But let's get a cut. The, the angle from the from the counter perspective. Here's a sandwich. We got a knife here. Oh yes, that is gorgeous. Everything. Oh my god, this is like the best grilled cheese I think I've ever made. All right. Let's dip it in the soup. Let's try it. Looks wise, solid seven. Taste wise, let's try some with soup first. The auto exposure is really something on this camera. Is it? It's got a thumbs up. Is it bussin? Oh, that is extremely hot still. <laughs> Is it bussin? That's good. Is it flavoring? Unfortunately, Lee can't have cheese, so. Not bad. The way cheddar really exemplifies the Colby Jack. And the ham's a really good compliment because it's nice and moist <laughs> to the turkey. The it's ham's good. a compliment to the turkey. Good. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Oh, wow. So be ready to take it out of some outside fields. And when you add on the tomato soup, it gives it an extra flair of defense, and it gives your BBs a little extra distance. Oh. What's wow. this BB do its job? Oh, wow. Mm. Wow. Damn. He gonna do it. Coffee maker needs a lot of cleaning. He's gonna do it. Oh. Oh, he's going in. <laughs> we should have easier time showing off soup now. Careful with that. I'm gonna down this bad boy. Oh. 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 He's chugging that soup. I can say that was so good. I have to have another, simply, because that was just a smasher. Chug jug. Chug jug. say chug jug. We got a number one. <laughs> Dang. Oh, gosh. The soup mustache. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Well, I would actually eat this if I wasn't 99.9% .9 sure his wrist hair fell in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, the white cheddar really exemplifies the Colby Jack. That's in that's interesting wording. <laughs> okay, well anyway, uh, what did you think of that? You gonna be trying any of Airsoft Fatty's recipes there? Honestly, I didn't hate the uh, the nacho thing. I could veganize that and make it. A, I would use. I would, as I said, I would have it as a dip. I wouldn't pour it over any chips or anything. That's 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 too much for me. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, smash like and check out some more of my videos. There's there's, there's definitely a few other uh, airsoft fatty ones too. Plenty of other food ones. And uh, come hang out twitch.tv slash Willow Davis where I stream like every weekday. We have a great time. And other than that, I'll see you next time. Willow Davis out.